Welcome back to How to Broke. Today we're going to make, we're going to be making some gluten free or low gluten um, Italian meatballs, Italian meatballs. Uh, how to Broke style. Okay, we're going to make them fast. Now the reason I had to plan something, I have some ratatouille today to show you, but I'm fr oh, out of fresh rat, so I, I can't, I thought I had rat, fresh rat in the fridge. But I just checked now and there's no fresh rat in there, so I can't make it today. So we're going to do something different. Now we're, we're going to use these things up because that's on its way out. Look, it's, if you see a pepper, it's all crinkly like I mean, it means you've got to use it straight away. So we're going to use that today. Um, really going to need some onion, tomatoes, you know, tin tomatoes, some salad herbs. Ha ha ha. Salad herbs. We need some um, pork, some pork, uh, ground pork like that, you see. Well, minced pork doesn't matter, the same, not the same thing. And we need some oats, ordinary oats. So let me get that, don't go away, camera. Oh. Now we could, well, it's, it's best to use some bread in, in this, the traditionally, bread for this um, recipe, because we're going to put some, we're going to mix the meat with the, um, the sausage, and, uh, the sausage meat with the bread, you see, to make it, to make it improve the, improve the um, texture. And to make it go further, and that's what. But we're going to use oats today because I believe, I think, that oats are gluten-free. Or maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong on that in the comments. But I think, um, I think uh, the the reason we're cooking gluten-free is because I can't eat gluten because I'm, I'm gluten intolerant. So we're going to use oats for this. Oats is okay for me. Right, we're going to blitz this. Right, there we are, we just got ground up the oats like that, very simple look. These, these little machines are handy. Right, in here we've got some dried salad herbs there, freeze dried salad herbs. In goes the oats like that. Um, we're going to put in, quickly we're going to put in, this is um, 500 grams of pork uh, mince with a few herbs all they've already put in it on manufacture. We're going to leave that for the sauce and we're going to get some uh, garlic granules. How much? Well, I'll show you. It's supposed to be teaching you how to do something here. About that much, look. Yeah, right. So, I don't know, was that a level teaspoon, was it? Don't use fresh garlic in here. Well, you can. I say that, but, you know, it's best to use something that's... This always works. Fresh garlic, normally, I can taste the garlic in it. And you don't really want that. We well, use the garlic for the sauce. You'll have your garlic. Well, I'm going to cut this onion up. And I'm going to speed the camera up because uh, cutting an onion up, onion up is uh, not something uh, that is exciting to watch. So we're going to put the camera on um, fast forward now and I'll see you in just a second. Okay, we're back now and we're going to just use half an onion for this, that's all you need really. Oh, you could put more onion in, but you know, half an onion is good. So, where are we? Oh, salt and pepper. Are we going to put any salt in because the pork mince will probably have salt. If you pick up the packet, it'll have um, pork and uh, anything else and it'll probably mention salt as well. So, that's a bit of ground black pepper. In we go with an egg. Now, where do we use an egg? For the simple reason we want a mixture to stick, get, stick together as best as possible. Stick together is good as well because we're going to shape it into balls and we're going we're gonna to be frying it or browning it. So we're going to use one egg, perhaps maybe two, but I don't think so. Normally one is, is good for this amount of uh, mixture. So there's one egg in there. So make sure you, your hands are clean and um, just get my tea going. Afternoon tea, 20 past four, and uh, that's good. Okay, so with your washed hand, get hold of the bowl with one hand and, and mix it with the other. I think we've just checked before you start doing things in there. 
everything is. Okay, let's go. So we find the oats is, is quite a good substitute for, for bread. I mean, it's all right, may not be traditionally um, uh, Italian with using oats, but why, well, you know, why not? If you can't eat bread because you, you, you're um, allergic to the gluten, the gluten affects you in a bad way, then, well, sure, oats. The only other thing you can do, which I showed you in another recipe, is you can use bashed up cornflakes to, to go in here. Um, but personally, I, I, I don't know, I've got, I like the oats better. It's a softer texture when you've, when you've uh, made the, when you've done, uh, cooked the, 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 the meatballs. And uh, anyway, we're nearly there. We're going to put some olive oil in there, in the pan now. Let's turn that pan a bit to medium. We don't want to burn these, you just want to brown them around the outside. So there's some olive oil going in there. Um, so now we're going to fashion these into ball shapes. And again, what we're going to do is we're going to speed up the camera to... Because you, once you've done a couple of these, you don't need to see me doing them all. So, these are the balls. Now, you don't want to make them any bigger than this. Um, you can, but you want to make sure they're cooked all the way through, especially your pork. So, anyway, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to fast forward the film now, and I'll see you in a bit when I've rolled all these balls up and put them in. Right, we're back, and I'm just going to wash my hands. So, we, 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 together with the oats, we've stretched that 500 grams of pork mince with the oats and the other ingredients, so we can make 10 meatballs out of it, which I think is good. Now, 10 meatballs, that'll go, that's enough for four people there. How many meatballs per person? Well, two to three depending on how big, how big the balls are, so that's that's what you got in for, two to three balls each. I mean really, for a child, two is enough, one probably is enough. Don't forget, we're gonna have this with, um, we're gonna have this with some rice and some, and the sauce, no, on the sauce. Now what we're gonna do with these uh, meatballs now is you're gonna keep them on a medium heat, and we're going to, once they started up a little bit, we're gonna we're gonna just going to um, get them brown on, on around the all sides. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have a slurp of my tea now. Good tea this. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna prepare the um, the pepper. Now we're using this pepper not because it's particularly traditionally Italian and you should go to sauce, but because you can put it in a sauce and you can uh, include it. So why not? It's, it's, it's not going off, it's just getting a bit old, it's going a bit wrinkly, like me. And uh, so we need to use it up. And uh, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to chop this, this pepper up roughly, like that. And we're going to put a little bit of olive oil in here. This doesn't have to fry on a super hot heat. That's why we can use olive oil in my opinion. So we're not going to we're not going to uh, heat it extreme temperatures. So then that goes in there. And that's the green pepper in there. Now we're going to use the other piece of this onion, and we're going to chop it a little bit coarser this time. We chopped it fine to go in the meatballs. So that it'll be this kind of same size, granular size as the rest of the ingredients. But this one, we're going to chop bigger like that. So no, we don't have to chop that thin at all. So that goes in there. You could put more onion in there, but you know, that's good enough. So we're going to get some garlic now. It's just fresh garlic. You can use the uh, frozen garlic if you want. This is um, garlic that I've had in the fridge. Also needs eating up. It's 
Anyway, I'm going to chop this up now. You don't need to watch this, so I fast forward this. Okay, we're back. We're gonna, now we're going to crush it in here, into the mixture. We've got this sizzling here, as you can probably see. You probably can't see if it's too dark. There you go, there's, there's the garlic goes in there, like that. Crush it up good. Then there's the onion, the garlic, and the green pepper, into the olive oil. Right, in there goes a tin of tomatoes. Doesn't have to be chopped tomatoes. These ones are whole ones. Just stick it in like that. Because you can always get your knife and something else. If you haven't got tom chopped tomatoes, just chop them up like that. Saying, well, is that it? I say more or less that, that's it. And let's get some water to top that up with. Right, so that's that lid like that. Now I need to get, I know we've got a stock cube in here. If you haven't got chicken, do get a vegetable stock cube. Now this one here, this one is made by Noor and it's uh, quite good, it's for Mediterranean vegetables. And it really does a stock cube, a vegetable stock cube that really tastes good. So if you see that, give it a go. So, there we are. Look. So there we have it. So we have the meatballs. Now we're going to turn these meatballs and I'll show you what I mean. Look, see it's gone brown there like that. That's what you need. Just turn them over, keep the pan on medium, turn them over like that, like that, like that, and you keep doing that until they're brown like that all the way around. Okay, we're going to leave it now and we're going to come back when this is cooked a bit more. Hello, we're back after, I don't know how long has it been, half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. Anyway, the What's happening is, here's the sauce that we're going to mix. We're going to mix that. We're going to put that in there. Now, that's been simmering on a high bubble. What's a high bubble? Well, simmering like that. So, boiling really, I suppose, but it's a simmer. Simmer boil. So, halfway between a simmer and a boil. Anyway. Now, the reason, there are only two things with this recipe. Uh, the only two things you need to ensure that you get right. You know where, my, where I cook? Yeah. If I show you something specifically or say something specifically, I do it for a reason, not because it's important. Because it's important, not for anything else. So uh, if I show you exactly how much garlic to put in or exactly how much spice, then you have to do that. Everything else you can like, uh, you don't have to pay too much attention to. So with this recipe, the only two things you need to pay attention, otherwise you, you will mess it up is the simmering time of the sauce. Now that sauce has got to simmer for at least a half an hour, like that. Better an hour. Better than that, an hour and a half. Better still, two hours. Why? Because we want to cook it through, we want to get the flavour out of these, these vegetables in here, we want to get the flavour out of the onion and the garlic. And, and, and it, the, if you're going to cook it for a long time, just turn it on a gentle bubble, just a gentle bubble. And you'd be amazed how much the sauce improves in flavour. Now, you're thinking, well, we're going to leave it like that. Well, you, you don't have to. You can put some, you make it sweeter. You like sweet sauce. Put some tomato ketchup in it. If you like it a bit tangy, put a little bit of vinegar in it. A little bit. 
if you want it spicy, put in a chilli or two, like I have. Look, there's, there's one there. You see? Just a bit of a twang. Now I'm going to put some tomato ketchup in there because I've just reminded myself about that. So, I'm going to put some tomato ketchup in there. Why? Because tomato ketchup's got a bit of sugar in it. And just a little a squirt like that, that'll do the job. Like that. Now that's a bit too thick to go in there at the moment, so we're going to put a little bit of water with that. Like that. So that's about a litre's worth of sauce in there, I guess. Now, of course, if it's cooking in and gets uh, dries out a little bit, put some more water in it. Okay, that's the first thing. So you need to get that right. Okay. The second thing, the second thing you do is make sure that the meatballs are brown or all the way around the outside. I, you say, well, a ball doesn't have any sides. Yeah, okay. But you get my, get my. There's not, they're not perfect. You can't make them perfect balls. So you're going to have sides. So make sure they're brown on at least three sides. So we have a look here. Zoom in there, camera lady, and maybe you can see that one there, for example. It's brown there, there, there. It's not burnt, it's just brown. There. That's good enough. This one. There, there, there. That's good enough. That one. Brown there, there. That's good enough. Now the reason we brown them is for the, the meat to take on, to harden up on the outside. Because what would happen is if you didn't brown, brown them, browning them is no big deal. They just sit in the sizzle and every 10 minutes you just turn them around. If you didn't brown them, as soon as you put that in there and cook it, because you will need to cook it a bit more, then these will break up. It, it, it will be a whole, it'll look like a dog's dinner. So you keep those, <laughs> it'll be tasty dog's dinner, but it, it'll look like a dog's dinner. So you keep those things, uh, brown them on at least three sides. And that's the only two things you need to, to, to worry about. You need to worry about nothing, but the only things to make this uh, recipe a success, cook the sauce for as long as you can, Simmer it rather, and make sure you brown the meatballs, and that's it. Now, okay, next. So, stop worrying about everything else. This is we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna combine these two. So, now the time is now what uh, twenty past five, there thereabouts. Now we're gonna have these tonight. So, what we're gonna do, this is how I do it when I cook these, uh, is we're gonna put this sauce, combine the two. So, we're gonna switch that off and put that one on simmer, just on simmer, just the lowest. And we're going to bind the sauce like that. Okay, let's get all the deliciousness out of there. Now bear in mind, this is just a simple, quick, weekday thing. I haven't put any, um, any big uh, important herbs in here. I haven't had any, uh, added anything. This is just quick. You can knock this up uh, in, well, uh, the sauce and it, it try to take 45 minutes or from from beginning with nothing to this 45 minutes now what you can do is uh after that's happened you combine the sauce with the meatballs you get a nice tight fitting lid and what you can do is just plonk it on there like that and we're going to put that that on the small ring there on the left hand side ring which is just which is even uh, less hot than that one. And we're gonna leave it there. Now, okay, so now, now you, you can do what you like now. You can go, go to the gym. You can go and do some gardening. What, you can do what you like, you know? The, the time is yours because if you're saying like you eat at seven o'clock, half past seven, eight o'clock, you can leave that simmering. As long as you check it every half an hour, check the, check the liquid and don't let it dry out. Just top it up with a little bit of water. That, that, you, can, you can simmer that for a whole day if you wanted to. Uh, but all the time of simmering it, you let the flavours develop. So the longer you simmer it, the better the flavours going to be. So, Okay, what do we have this with? Well, because it's kind of um, a gluten-free one, or a low-gluten one, uh, some members of the family are going to have some... Oh, you can have any pasta you like with this. You don't have to have pasta with it. You could have, you could have rice with it. I'm going to do, I'm going to do rice for some people, and I'm going to do pasta for other people. So there we are. That's my uh, serving suggestion. 
Do you need anything more than that with that when you serve it up? Yes, I'll tell you, I'll show you. If you can, get some get some grated cheese. This is Emmental, for example. Get some well, grate some of your own cheese. You can plop that on. Or get some uh, parmesan. And just a little sprinkle of parmesan on the top. Serve it up. Job done. And it's been fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. And I uh, hope you'll give this a try. And let me know in the comments below if you like it. If you think it's rubbish, then uh, let me know. Shouldn't be. Uh, I've done this a billion times. Um, as I say, this is, a, this is my interpretation. You know, I say it's traditional Italian meatballs. It's, it's not. But it, this, this works for me. The family love it. I'm sure your family will love it too. It, more of my recipes are up here. I'm adding to them every week or every few days or so when I get some time. Uh, you can see some of my quick tips up here and you can to subscribe you can uh, click the how to bloke icon so until next time see you soon